Hello and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to be backpacking the Edale skyline which is 21 miles. I'm going to be using my lightweight backpacking kit. Today I've got seven kilos that includes food but not water and I'm going to be showing you a few new pieces of gear such as my Osprey Levity backpack, the Sawyer Micro Squeeze water filter and I'll give you my thoughts on the BRS 3000T ultralight stove. So that's the tough section out of the way. We've reached the summit of Loose Hill. It's got all the directions to all the places around here. From this vantage point, you can see the whole of the room. So I'm going to make my way along the Great Ridge to Mamtor in the center, over Rush Up Edge, across Kinder Scout, which goes all the way along there. And then back along this ridge, which is the Roman Road, up to Wynn Hill. And then it's back down, just a short walk into Hope. So there's the village of Hope down the bottom. That's where I've walked up the steep hill here. So now I've had a bit of a breather, I can crack on with the rest of the hike. Follow the Yellow Rick Road. I'm about a third of the way along the Great Ridge, and this is Back Tour. It's a lovely little spot. Get a better view of Mam Tour in the background now. Everybody that visits the Great Ridge has to stand on this rock. So it looks scarier than it is. Still don't want to jump off it though. Right, back to the ridge. This is one of the Peak District's many tough staircases. Mam Tor's just ahead now. I'll stop for my first pit stop. Top of Mam Tor. Can't believe how many people there are. Bit of a snack. None of that trail mix malarkey. For that for a road. That's where you want to take your Ferrari down, isn't it? That's Mam Tour out of the way. I've never seen it so busy, to be honest. Look at the people coming up. From the trick point at the summit, you can't get anywhere near it. But I'm heading over there now to Bush Up Edge and then back along Kinder. Here's the view from Rush Up Edge. So it gets really windy up here, so it's popular with the uh, paragliders. But it looks today like there's a few people flying gliders. Not sure if the camera's picking that up. See when we get back home. Really cool. So this section is from Rush Up Edge to Kinder Scout. It's definitely a bit more bleak up here. Not so many features to see. It's not incredibly sunny, but the wind's burning my eyes, so put the shades on. That's the way I'm heading, and it should take me to the top of Jacob's Ladder. This bit's just never ending. I think this bit of the path was laid about two or three years ago. I must have spent a huge amount of time and effort and thousands of pounds get it in this state. We used to be walking through all this boggy stuff all the time. And that were no good to nobody. But they're spending a lot of money in the Peak District now making sure all the, the paths and trails are up to a really good standard. About a quick five minute break of a drink and a few more minstrels. I'm at the top of Jacob's Ladder which takes you down to Edale which is the official start of the Pennine Way. And I'm heading up there to Kinder Scout. Look at that for a view. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Can just make out the people going down Jacob's Ladder, down to Edale. And I've got maybe half an hour's walk until I meet up with Andy and I'm going to find somewhere to pitch the tent. I think this is called Pim Chair. Very interesting rock formation. And just over the other side we've got the wool packs. place is unbelievable. I 
this has to be the ultimate hide and seek place, isn't it? I've just been joined by Andy Beavers. Tell it, you're not gonna say hello. Hello guys. <laughs> Trying out a new filter today. This is the Sawyer Micro Squeeze. It's lightweight like the Sawyer Mini, but it's got a much better flow rate, more like the, the Sawyer Squeeze. Prince Cross Hotel, I think, look, I think call it. Flow rate is much quicker than the, the Sawyer Mini. That's something about the peat district water though, isn't it? Full of peat. Peat district tea, I call it. <laughs> it's all right though, isn't it? Yeah, I've drunk gallons of this Andy. stuff. That one's got to be the best one yet, hasn't it? It looks like we found a pitch for the night. And there's no stunning views over over the valley. But it's out the way. It's nice and flat. Still a big blob of snow there. Thought that would have all melted by now. You may have noticed I've been sporting a new pack. This is the Osprey Levity 45. Weighs in at only 810 grams. And I've had it on my back for about 13, 14 miles today and didn't even notice I was wearing it. It's really comfortable. So we're all pitched up. I've got cumulus quilt again and the uh, uh, Thermarest X Lite sleeping pad. New edition. What's it called? A nice new comfortable pillow from Trekology, it's not very expensive uh, but it's really comfortable uh, we've got about half a dozen night sleeps on this now albeit at home very clever little valve so it stays inflated and you can press this in and out to deflate or inflate it I'm impressed for about a tenner or whatever it cost got about an hour to an hour's left before the sun goes down and his pitch is so low there I'm starving so it's about time I got some food cooked got a full selection of goodies from summer to eat so I'm gonna have that now I think beef stew with potato and then I'm having rice pudding with strawberry for sweet breakfast in the morning is gonna be scrambled egg with cheese I've done a lot of miles um, I might have that later on as well or I'll have it tomorrow and then for snacks I've got some M&M's far superior than that trail mix malarkey I've just put my Thermarest sit pad outside so I can kneel on it handy little tip is I've just interlinked the bungee with a little thing on my stake and I've put a stake in there and that stops it blowing away New lightweight stove. Had a had a play with it now. I probably used it maybe eight times to boil water now. I think it's a BRS T3000. Comes in its own little bag. I can't believe how tiny this is. This weighs in only 25 grams. And it is really, really tiny. Three arms just fold out, then they lock into place with these little lugs here. That's it. And everything fits inside my help kit, Mai Tai 650, lighter, little rag, and a gas canister. Let's get that out.
going to use one of these pot stands. Don't want it falling over, do we? There we go. Using that peat coloured water that we got from the little waterfall earlier. A little bit more water there than I need. Trusty Sea to Summit mug. I'll make myself a coffee as well. So with the testing that I've done so far, this stove uses about eight grams to boil me 500 millilitres of water. So that single 100 gram canister should last me about 12 full boils. That's not what I was expecting. Plenty of meat and different vegetables. So I'm looking forward to that. Excellent. Get that a stir. Zip it up. It's getting a bit fresh outside, so I put the little down jacket on. Cup of tea's much appreciated. Room's looking really bright. Sun's been down about half an hour, but we're still getting a fair bit of light to be fair. Braver than me. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Right, beef stew with potato. Looks like stew. Oh yeah. It's good that. Mm. So I've been outside having a bit of a natter with Andy for a couple of hours. And um, we've come back to our tents. Just made myself a cup of soup. The old BRS stove. Oh, it's not as good as the pocket rocket. Doesn't like these Peak District breezes. As you can probably see from that, the flames going all over the place, and there's not a lot of breeze. So I've had to makeshift block the wind with my sit pad which has done the trick but you shouldn't have to do that really so so i'm probably going to go back to the pocket rocket weighs 50 grams more but i think it's worth it for the performance all right so the mug needs a bit of a wipe out after the mushroom soup so i'll come across these things found these on amazon um, it's like a dehydrated wipe so it weighs nothing, it's just one little tablet. Which looks like a small extra strong mint. And to rehydrate it, you just pour a little bit of water on it. Watch it grow. That gives you that gives you a cloth. Quite clever, I think. I can wipe down all of my gear. Get all that nasty stuff out there. These cup of soups always leave some dry powder on the side, don't they? There we go. Spotless. I'm going to get a bit more water so I don't have to bother faffing around in the morning. Just going to leave this in there till tomorrow morning and then just squirt it straight into my jug. When you've had your hands in dirty water, it's always a good idea to give them a clean with some sanitizing gel. It's alright filtering your water, but if you put your hands in your mouth when you've had them nasties on you. Well, breakfast tastes like I thought it would. Cheesy scrambled egg. Mm. 
It's nice that is. So this is the Edale Skyline route. I started down here in Hope and walked up Loose Hill. Yesterday I did all of the ridge. Up onto Kinder Scout. This is where I met Andy. Um, and we're actually, we're camped up here somewhere at the moment, up on Kinder Scout. So I've got to come back down here. Onto, well, come back down here onto the path on Kinder Ridge. We've got to head over there towards Jagger's Clough, along the Roman Road up Wind Hill. And that's the last summit of this, this trip. And then back down to Hope to pick up the car. It's just gone 8 a.m. now. Um, had my breakfast and a cuppa, so it's time to get packed up and finish the rest of the trail. Pillow pack's down really small. It does come in its own little bag. If you want to save a few grams, you can leave it at home. So that's everything packed away. Left no trace as usual. This is the pack fully loaded. And this was seven kilograms before I put water in. It didn't have that in either, um, that fleece. Um, it probably weighs 300 grams. But it's been really comfortable so far. And that's it. On with the rest of the hike. So we're back on the skyline now. You can see the, the ridge that I came across yesterday. Wind hill right in the centre there. That's where I'm heading now. View's really starting to open up now, look. That's Kreinslow Knoll. Mam tour in the middle. The view from this side of Kinder is awesome. That's where we started off yesterday at Loose Hill. And that's going to be the final summit, Wind Hill. They don't make road signs like this anymore, do they? Just about to see Lady Bower through there. We've not got too far to go now. That's the last summit of the day. Then I can get these boots off. Here's Hope Cross. You get a really good angle of the, the Great Ridge from here. Look how steep back tour looks in the centre. Last bit of a climb to do. This is Windhill Pike. When we get to the top of here, we should have some gorgeous views overlooking Lady Bower Reservoir. So that's it, all the climbing done. Reach the summit of Windhill Pike. On this side you can see the cement works in the centre there. What a fabulous way to end the Edale Skyline Walk. Look at that. Some fabulous views over Lady Bar Reservoir. So the only thing left to do now is to head back down to the village of Hope, which is there, get back in the car. That's just bloody typical. You walk 20 miles you got one mile to go and then it starts pissing it down. Look at all that coming over. So we're back in Hope. The car's only a few hundred yards ahead. I really enjoyed this walk. Um, but it's starting to hurt my feet a little bit now. So, but 21 miles with pack on. I'm pleased with that. Um, I've learnt a few things. Um, this rucksack incredibly comfortable um, but it definitely makes a difference having lightweight gear over those kind of distances the Sawyer micro squeeze that's going to be my new go-to water filter um, flow rate is far superior to the, the Sawyer mini and the MSR trail shot that I've got and, and something that I'll, I'll be changing back again um, the BRS titanium stove um, it's not worth the weight saving over the the MSL pocket rocket so I'm going to be going back to the pocket rocket for future camps I'd just like to say thanks to Andy cheers Andy um, he's finished the walk with me and uh, gave me a bit of company last night and I'll leave a link in the description below to Andy's channel so that's going to be it for this video 
Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.